So the idea was law enforcement, FBI, you know, local, state, tribal, territorial cops need to have a way, if there's a drone flying around, to identify that. Is that a bad guy, a good guy? You know, what are we looking at here? So that was really the purpose and interest behind it, the reason why the FAA was essentially forced to create it. To fly under Part 107, which is a small UAS mm -hmm. rule, all drones required to be registered in the United States must either be flying a, a standard remote ID drone, meaning this remote ID capability is baked into the drone, mm -hmm. or a broadcast module remote ID slapped onto the drone. It's like broadcasting here, this is who I am. Broadcast, it's, it's a broadcast function, uh, and what it has to beam out are several things. Now between the standard and, and, the, and the module, it's slightly different, just very slightly different. But generally speaking, it's the location of the drone, the location of either the, the control, ground control station, all those things you'd want to know, right, if, if you're law enforcement. Um, and there's going to be a, a, a serial, you know, serial number identified with that. Now, law enforcement can triangulate the FAA registration information with the remote ID information, message elements, they call them, yeah. that are going to be beamed out. Mm -hmm. But the public can have access, theoretically, to those message elements, including the location of the drone pilot. Oh, wow. So that fired up the drone pilot community because they're like, we're already getting attacked by knuckleheads that don't want us flying, now you're gonna tell them where, where we're located. Yeah, I mean, who And I how am. does that, you know, kids can fly drones. Yeah. Oh, and so if you don't have either standard remote ID or broadcast remote ID drone, you have to fly in a very limited space called the Federally Recognized Identification Area, FRIA, that, you know, either a community-based organization like the American Modeling Association mm -hmm. or uh, a Model Aircraft Association, um, would apply for that and get that designated. So, Schools, universities can apply. So there's spaces where you can fly without remote ID. Yeah, but if you're a kid and you're nowhere near one of these locations, you cannot now fly one in your backyard. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can't open a box unless it has remote ID or broadcast module and just fly it freely. So again, the hobby, the rec, the FPV community, which was yeah. race day quads, they're kind of up in arms about the whole situation.